Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing so well. Miss you guys, love you guys. How are we all doing? Obviously, if you are from, ooh, hello, it's a bit high, isn't it? Oh, How to Lose a Ten Guy, How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days is now on Netflix. Oh my god, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. So, if you're from the UK, you should know how bloody boiling it is. Also, there's this guy from my area. Every day, without doubt, will ride around on his bike with a massive subwoofer of a music player and play different music every day. And you know what? Some may find that quite, I don't know, annoying. But I love it because every day I'm like, oh, is it him? What is he going to play today? Today was like pure drum and bass, which, you know, <laughs> I could get on board with some drum and bass. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be eating like Kendall Jenner today. So I did the Kylie video, which went down so well. I enjoyed it so much. I want to do more of like celebrities um, eating things. <laughs> so there wasn't an exact video like the Kylie Jenner one, but there is a pretty promising article with Bazaar, 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 I don't know, which pretty much says what she eats in a day. And it's like breakfast, lunch, amazing. So I can get on board with that. Now, Kendall Jenner is a super model, if you don't know who she is. I just thought it'd be really interesting to eat a supermodel's diet for the day. She doesn't really say um, what she has to drink, which is annoying. Um, some of the things in this video, I am gonna imagine what she drinks. Now, this is not me being a judgmental little shit or anything like that. I'm just going off what she eats. I'm just gonna imagine. So I just feel like Kendall Jenner is someone who drinks black coffee. Don't ask me why. Like maybe on holiday, she'll have like a cappuccino or a latte, but I think in day to day, she'll wake up and she'll have a black coffee. As I am Kendall Jenner today, I'm gonna be having a black coffee. So she has avocado over eggs and a big bowl of oatmeal. I don't cook that much besides my standard eggs, avocado and toast breakfast. Okay, so let's get cracking on the avocado on eggs, on toast. I've lost my avocados, oh they're here. So I have three baby avocados, Q, and eggs. This is possibly going to be the easiest video ever, but the last time I said that in a video where it had... Ugh. Let's just have some confidence. So two eggs and avocado on toast. Does she have two eggs? Who knows? Hey Kendall, do you have two eggs or one? Okay, see you later, bye. Okay, back in the action with my little borrower frying pan. I'm just gonna, I feel like aesthetically, big word for me, I feel like she's just gonna have one plain old sad old egg. <laughs> like I said, I don't wanna generalize anything about her because I'm sure she's a great person, but I just feel like her food is gonna look perfect. And you know me, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I am far from perfect. I am far from aesthetically pleasing. But today, I wanna be a supermodel. You put your mind to anything you wanna do. And today, I am a new man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Supermodel of the world. I read this quote the other day, inspire, be inspired of the unknown. I felt like I had to know what I wanted in five years time. Who knows what I'm gonna be doing? And that sort of excites me. As long as I know that I'm working hard now, um, I'm having fun, I'm being nice, um, I'm doing, doing everything right, if that makes sense to a certain degree. I'm maturing, no I'm not. It excites me. Like, be excited about your future. I see a lot of people on TikTok, TikTok saying, don't know what I wanna be when I'm older. Just explore everything, do you know what I mean? Just go for everything. Okay, so there's one bit of bread. Is cling film bad for the environment? I can imagine it is. So how are you guys, how are you getting on? Um, Summertime now, isn't it? God, this year has gone. God, honestly, what a year, eh? Who would have fudging, what's it called? Expected this. Hope everyone's safe. I'm gonna go for a little cute mug today, which says, be happy, and it's got a little B on it. So, um, let's get coffee. Maybe she has like almond milk or coconut milk, but I just feel like there's something about, um, like a black coffee that seems cool. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like when someone's like, oh yeah, can I just get a 
coffee black. <laughs> okay, the egg is looking lush. I, I feel like Kendall Jenner would have worn like a like a Calvin Klein sort of vest. You know what I mean? Scared. I've already got a lot of energy today, so I don't feel like this is gonna calm me down in time soon. <laughs> Jesus. Avocado over eggs. So, egg avocado. <laughs> and I just feel like she's a balsamic girl. I feel like she might even eat it. I'm making stuff up as I go, honestly. I feel like she'd, she'd eat it like, like in one go, if that makes sense. Like she wouldn't use a knife and fork. I, re I reckon she'd just be like, yeah, I got my avocado on toast. Why is this breaking? Mmm. Oh, this is what it looks like. Ignore my hands. Ignore my hands. Ignore my... Oh, ignore my hands. You just can't beat avocado on toast. I also feel she has one egg because she also has oatmeal as well. With fruit. Also, genuine question. I think I've spoken about this before. But why do I love watching serial killer documentaries? I know it's like a big thing, isn't it? Like, loads of people love watching it. But why? Why? I think it's like... S watching something that you could never understand. It's like really fascinating to understand the minds behind it all. Like what goes on in their mind to be like, do you know what, I'm gonna kill someone. I need to stop talking. But yeah, let's talk about this in the comments. <laughs> okay, so oatmeal, perfect. This is gonna be like a small, cute little bowl. Um, there we go. How do you make oatmeal? Porridge else. Oh, do I have any cinnamon? Oh my God, please have cinnamon. Oh! Hey, this is gonna be so LA, like I can't even deal. So I got some of this oat drink, um, the original Oatly. You see that? Ugh, the color looks rank. Ooh. <laughs> so fruits, we've got raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I'm just gonna give them a quick wash. It basically just says, um, and a big bowl of oatmeal, but it also says at the top, um, plenty of fruit and vegetables and I just can imagine she has a lot of fruit on this. I'm gonna put like a little bit of cinnamon on there. Oh, f*** you. Good job I like cinnamon. <laughs> and we've got some honey, just a little drizz. And I also got some flaked coconut from my unbelievable successful cheesecake from the last video. So here we go, we have um, the oatmeal. Blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, a F ton of cinnamon, syrup, and flake coconut. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know if I could have avocado and eggs on toast and oatmeal every day. Oh, damn, I was going to take a photo of this. This is a winner. Cheers. Oh, I just burnt my lips. Black coffee, don't rate. Just tastes like, tastes like the ground. Absolute 30 out of 10. That's my model walk. <laughs> Sign me up, Vogue. No, not Vogue. Sign me up, storm models, or whatever it's called, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. So it's lunchtime now, and I feel like we're gonna make a lunch and snacks thing hand in hand. Lean chicken with brown rice is all it says. So um, we're gonna start by frying some chick. Got me some brown rice. Chicken, rice. Also, we have raw vegetables with dip and hummus. Out of all of the options today, the raw vegetables with hummus is by far my most excited dish. I just love raw vegetables with dip. I don't know why. So, we've got the rice and the chicken on the go. And whilst that's on the go, I'm going to cut up my raw vegetables. So we have celery, cucumber, yellow pepper. <laughs> I have never bought carrots that look like this before, but I just feel like these look very LA, very cool, very like bougie carrots. Give them a good old wash. I have never been so excited for carrots in my entire life. 
Wow, look at that, that came out very smooth. I love these carrots so much. Does anyone know what I should do with the with this? Is this like basil or something? Like, what do I do with it? Because I always said I want to throw it away if I can eat off of it. Looks like it's just been pulled out the ground. Also, I want to stick to the thing as much as I can. It doesn't say anything about seasoning or anything in the rice. It literally just says lean chicken and brown rice. Um, however, I am going to put a little bit of chicken seasoning on the chicken. Hope that's okay with you. Just to give it a bit, a little bit more flavour. Like so far, so good. Like this isn't exactly what I'd be excited to eat um, every day. I'm not going to lie to you. Want to be brutally honest. Nothing screams excitement. I know she's on a very busy schedule and she's got to look amazing and all stuff like that. And I'm sure she has her days where she just binges and stuff like that. Um, and it does say that one of the things she does have for dinner, which we're not going to do today because I did it in Kylie's, is go for sushi and obviously that's amazing. If she's on a strict diet, then this food works for her. This snack board though. Oh, look at it. I could eat this forever. Colour's absolutely beautiful. These bougie carrots are next level. Got myself a water. A lemon in it. I thought I'd enjoy this snack on the nice sunny balcony. Now it's boiling. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually getting quite full. This is my chicken and rice. I mean, it's chicken and rice. I like that I've seasoned it, okay? It's not the most exciting meal, not gonna lie. Maybe I should have put some garlic or lemon in it. This is definitely my least favorite. Um, because it's just a bit bland. Who knows, she could have put garlic or anything. She could have seasoned the chicken amazingly. But what I followed from, very bland. How you could do that to such a kind and sweet soul, I'll never understand. A person with a heart couldn't do what he did. Like I said, not the worst thing I've had in my mouth, but just a, very bland, Kendall, very bland, but I get it. It's your life. Oh, it's just a bit dry. So I've realized that I've done it back to front, so usually you would have lunch and then a snack. I had the snacks, then the lunch. Okay, so I may have just changed into something that makes me severely uncomfortable, but it's so hot and I don't suit vests. Look at me with my chain, I look like a boxer. So I thought I would make a quick little afternoon green tea. I just imagine that she would have, look at me getting hives because I'm so nervous wearing a vest. So the green tea we're gonna be having is the Heath and Heather organic green tea with coconut. I feel like I'm just gonna go vibe and like meditate. She meditates as well, which is something that I can definitely get on board with. Um, Cause I used to meditate when I had like serious anxiety. Um, this is too hot to drink for the minute. Also, if you do one thing today, please do this for me and go on to Spotify and listen to music from Jeremy Zucker. Oh my God. I am literally obsessed with his voice. He does quite a few songs with Chelsea Cutler as well. Um, and she is just equally stunning. But when they come together, oh my God. Alexa, play Better Off by Jeremy Zucker. Here's Better Off. By Ariana Grande. No, no, not Ariana Grande. We love you, but not today. Alexa, Better Off by Jeremy Zucker. It sounds like you're asking about Better Off. <laughs> Alexa, can you please play Jeremy Zucker by fuck? No, can you please play? I think you're no! Better off. <laughs> play Better Off by Jeremy Zucker, please. Better Off by Lil Peep is a song on the 11th of August 2017. Play Better Off by Chelsea Cutler. Better Off by Jeremy Zucker and Chelsea Cutler. Yeah. And Amazon. This song. Oh my god. Obviously I'm going to cut it here. Because I don't want to get demonetized. But this song. Jesus. Also, hi, I'm back. Cut up lemons into small little slices. And then put them in a lunchbox. And then put them in the freezer. Because... Sometimes you do want a lemon in your water or your gin or your vodka. They go out of date. So if you freeze them whilst they're in the little cubes, whack them in your, whack them in your ass, 
Why come in your GNT? Why come in your water? You've got a frozen ice lemon in your drink. It's amazing. I learned it from TikTok. Which have, which, what haven't I learned from TikTok? Hello, I've just been doing some workouts. Still very unsure about how I feel in this vest. Um, yeah, very unsure. Just, I, I would just never wear a shirt like I'm just um, a vest, sorry. Just don't know. I just feel like it's, it's working out for me today um, as I work out. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I feel good, okay? Come on this journey with me. Body confidence. Look at my eyelashes. Been using this very, very, very ridiculously expensive eyelash um, grower. Look at them. That's completely real. Completely my eyelashes on my life. So I use a right lash eye lash serum and by golly old Riley, they've grown back thick and fast. Hiya. It is, um, Coming up to four o'clock, I'm hungry. I beg your pardon, I am starving. There are three things on Kendall Jenner's list that she would have on an evening. Either sushi, which we're not gonna do because Kylie did that in that video. Um, margarita pizza, which is okay, amazing, but a little bit bog standard for the video. Or a vegan spaghetti bolognese. So guess what one we're doing? We're only doing the vegan spag bowl. So I've got my water boiling, I've got my pan bubbling away. Free from gluten and egg, brown fried, no, brine, brown rice spaghetti. <laughs> come on, it's all right, come closer. So the technique for this is to, oh. And then we have the corn, Proudly meat free with garlic mince. <laughs> so we're gonna put that on. Heat your sauce, then add corn mince, stir and cover for eight minutes. But let's add the sauce. So the sauce I've got is, um, which I use anyway for a bolognese sauce because it is so good. This is the vegan bolognese sauce with pea protein, daily gluten and, daily? Dairy gluten and wheat free. It's so nice, I love it. Shit, shit, shit. Put the meat in. Oh God. God, sorry guys, I know I'm a mess. How are you getting on? You are right. I'm so chaotic in everything I do. Just gonna coat all the mints. I'm one of those people where I'm like, I don't like the spaghetti too overbearing, like I love the meat. Just gonna send this to Zoe. Say hello Zoe. Ew. I genuinely cannot wait until dessert. This whole video has been leading up to dessert. Alexa, can you set a timer for eight minutes, please? I really want to watch the remake of Mary Poppins. Oh, let me bring you over. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that you're not in the room with me. Alexa, stop, please. Stop. We're going to put a tiny bit of cheese on. I'm sorry, but I also think Kendall Jenner is going to have a glass of red wine. Because why not? We're on holiday. So we've got our vegan spag bowl and we're gonna have a tiny glass of red wine. Some holidays. Tiny glass of red wine. And my vegan, ow, the plate is hot. So good, it's so nice. Romantic setting for one. If you don't want to see me dancing with nobody. Hey, I'm Kendall Jenner and welcome to my house. <laughs> if you're eating your dinner now, how's your day been? What have you been up to? <clears throat> how's the boss? How's the, how's the uh, DIY going? How's the, uh, anything else going? I've been so hungry today, so far. I do get it, I appreciate it. Everyone's diet's different, but for me personally, I feel like I would struggle um, eating as much as Kendall Jenner. Um, I guess after a while you get used to it, but I don't wanna be doing that. Later on in the video, I am going to uh, incorporate her treats. What she has as a treat, because why not? Is a zizizu, zizizu. What better way to include 
the final segment of this video, which I love Kendall for. I'm watching this horror movie called Stitches. Sounds great. It's a British Irish um, horror film about a clown who accidentally gets killed at a kid's party and he comes back and wreaks havoc. Um, so one of the things Kendall does to treat herself is have a Twix. So, I can love it. I love this. Love Twixes, but I just never buy them. I would never go into a shop and buy a Twix. Crunchy bars all the way. This is what I've been looking forward to all day. Kendall says that she has ice cream um, from this brand that you can't get in England, I don't think. But this gave me an excuse to get the Halo Top 360 calories per tub chocolate chocolate chip cookie dough. So many people rave on about this and I just am so No. Oh my god. Oh. This is absolutely stunning. I just want to quickly find. She doesn't even eat ice cream as a treat. Why have I picked up an a, ice cream then? Oh my god, she doesn't. Here's what will forever and always make my list of treats Twix, Justin's peanut butter, chips and guac, and hummus. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. This is it. In her 2016 conversation with Harper's Bazaar, Jenna spoke about her love for frozen yogurt as an occasional treat. So I'm guessing frozen all <laughs> frozen yogurt is this. Halo Top, if you're watching, Mr. Halo, can you make a mint chocolate chip version of it? If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really want to try Chris Hem Hemsworth or Tom Holland's um, daily plan. I just feel like that would be really extreme. Um, so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much as always. Thank you so much for all your ongoing support. It honestly means the world. Um, I don't know why you always come back to my channel. Um, love you so much. Take care. Mwah. Also, thanks Kendall Jenner because I know you're watching this. Um, appreciate you letting us know what you eat on a day.